welcome into another episode of the Better Half Hour. I'm your host, Alex Monaco. You know how we do it. I'm on the double decker of the sports betting bus, cruising down 7th Avenue, looking for trends, looking for angles. Happy playoff weekend. It's arguably the best weekend of football. Follow me on over. Little San Diego Stingray shuffle. Shout out to my city. We are talking. Four games and we kick it off with the Bengals on the road against the Titans. Lines at three and a half right now. Opened under a field goal, quickly sharps hammered the Titans for good reason, the one seed. But the Bengals are cooking five straight covers in their last five. Burrow has been on fire. You saw what he did to close the season, eight touchdowns over 400 and 500 yards respectively. You look at the Titans here. They are, as a favorite, not as lucrative as they are on the underdog side of things. They're four and five against the spread in their last nine at home. Also, 0-4-1 against the spread in their last five playoff games. Tannehill's just second playoff game ever. Lost his first one at home. That is a second Tannehill home playoff game, I should say. Burrow and the Bengals get that monkey off their back. 31 years drought no longer. Pressure absolutely on the Titans. I will say this on an over-under standpoint, the Titans 4-0 in their last four home games. For what it's worth, the Bengals are 5-0 in their last five, but that dates back my entire lifetime. Derrick Henry back in the building, though. We should be up for a good one in this one. Now moving on, I want to talk about the Packers hosting the Niners. It is Aaron Rodgers' time to shine. Big discrepancy, though, between what he does in the regular season against the Niners and the playoffs. He's actually 0-3 against the Niners all-time in the playoffs. You remember that Mostert 220 rushing yard game. But it's a different season. The Packers, they are the best team in football at home. a and winners of 14 of their last 15 at home. And they covered seven of their eight games against the spread in Lambeau this season. I will say, this is a hottest probably team in football coming in. The San Francisco 49ers is scared of nobody. You saw them with the boom box out in Cowboys land, disrespecting Jerry's world. They're 4-0 against the spread in their last four divisional games. I can't believe they're 6-1 against the spread in their last seven as an underdog. This had line movement. This was open at around 4.5. It has moved now to 5.5, 6, pending where you shot. This is going to be interesting. Devontae, on a player prop note, scored four of his last five playoff games. Debo scored in eight of his last nine, if you want to flirt with some of those out there. Now we flip the page and we go on to Sunday football. Even better than Saturday. We got Tommy Tampa and the Rams dancing. All day, Bucks at home. First thing I got to mention, the Bucks, one of the best teams against the spread at home, not named the Packers. Seven and two against the spread in their last nine. This has chilled at Bucks minus three, and it's staying at Bucks minus three. For good reason, this Rams seems pretty money, but hey, the Bucks, top two in points four on the season also. This is a Tom Brady accolade that is unfathomable. The man has 35 playoff wins. He's got 18 double-digit wins, 17 singles. Just to put it in perspective, the next man with the most playoff wins, Joe Montana with 16. He's got more wins than 28 of 32 franchises. If he runs the table and wins another, he'll have more than all of the franchises. That is insane. Rams, though, off a big win this season. They're 1-7 against the spread in their last eight when they win the previous week by 14 points or more, you don't love that. And the Bucs are 4-0 against the spread in their last four playoff games until the ageless Benjamin Button wonder is dethroned. How do you not like the Bucs? I'm going to pick it later in the show. And last but not least, we have the Kansas City Chiefs hosting the Buffalo Bills. It's a rematch in the AFC Championship game last year, and it is going to be spectacular. The Bills... What can we say about them? Seven straight touchdowns last week against the Patriots. Never been done in the history of the postseason. Coming in on fire. They got the number one scoring defense. Top four scoring offense for the Chiefs, though. They're on a five-game postseason win streak. 5-0 and and averaging 37 points in those five wins. They had closed out the season 8-1, and one, covering the spread 7-2 and two against the spread. I will tell you, tons of money came in on the Bills because the line moved. Two and a half open. Kansas City is a favorite. Moved down to minus two. It's even at minus one and a half for two. I will say the Bills are 6-2 and two against the spread in their last eight in Kansas City, that's even before Tim, the tool man, Josh Allen, and the Bills are 4-0-1 against the spread in their last five. So they're cooking. But again, Patty Mahomes at home. Big red. How do you go against him? You can't go against him. I'm picking that one. Josh Allen just 3-2 in the playoffs all time. He is beatable.